And I'm Mallory, back with your KTHS News. I hope all of y'all had an amazing three-day weekend. Let's go talk to the people we know and love, Scott and Beerkan. Okay, hey seniors, uh, we have a meeting, a senior class meeting tomorrow, that's Wednesday, uh, during Cougar Block, but make sure you go to your Cougar Block class, they're going to take attendance, I'm going to do the announcements like we always do and the pledges, and then I'm going to dismiss you to come to the competition gym. We're going to have a quick meeting where we talk about senior t-shirts, we're going to be talking about uh, our big fundraiser, which is trash bag sales. And that's important because that's a way for you to earn free prom tickets. So make sure you're ready to sell some trash bags starting uh, tomorrow. I'll give you all that information and you can get going on that. Uh, right now, it may not seem like a big deal. You'll be like, oh, well, I'll just buy my prom tickets. But in April, you're going to wish you had that 130 bucks for the two prom tickets. Uh, they're normally about 65 each. So sell some trash bags, get some free prom tickets. Other than that, an announcement for everybody. Uh, we're getting a little better on y'all remembering your IDs, uh, but we still have quite a few of you coming up to us when you enter the front door and back door getting uh, the temporary ID, and we've got to work on that. So make sure you make it part of your daily outfit. Uh, maybe when you leave here every day, attach that to your backpack so you don't forget it the next day. And then when you're coming in the building, take it off your backpack and put it on and wear it all day. Uh, we got to work on that. We need everyone to remember their ID every day. Okay, those are my announcements. Have a great day. Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Kraft, Assistant Principal here to talk to you a little bit about debriefing from our lockdown drill that we had this week or last week on Wednesday. Uh, a couple of things. Teachers are never going to let you in if you are in the restroom or if you're somewhere outside the classroom and our building goes in lockdown, please do not run toward your classroom or any other classroom unless it's right in the beginning and teachers are scooping in kids. If the door is closed, do not bang on the door because teachers will not let you in. T students, if we're at lunch or if you're caught in, out in the hall during an active intruder emergency, we operate under the training of run, hide, fight. The best place for you to be is be inside somewhere. Guys, if you're in the restroom, shut the door and stay in the restroom, right? Uh, if you can get out of the building, if you feel like it's safe, you are free to flee the building. Students, it is absolutely your decision that you have to make, but we do not want people banging on the classroom doors trying to get in because... The teachers are all trained to, under no circumstances, to open their door during a lockdown. If we are at lunch, we operate under run, hide, fight. Our SROs and our CERT team are very well trained to end any threats, but you guys have to take care of yourself. If you guys are in the classroom during a lockdown, you are at an advantage because you are under the direction of a trained teacher who knows what to do in the lockdown situation. Teachers will turn off the lights. They will make sure the door is shut and locked. The door should be locked at all times anyway. They will cover their windows, and all students should turn over a desk or table over to its side, like flip it over on its side. If you have a backpack, put it over your front of your chest and stomach area, and then hide behind that table spread out through the room. Again, we don't want students hiding in the corner all together. We want kids spread out through the room under some type of cover, and we need everybody to stay quiet. Uh, if we have any of those things, I promise you, I assure you, we have very high-trained police officers and administrators who are on staff who know exactly what to do in these situations. We also have amazing support from Tomball Police Department, Harris County Sheriff's Department, and other local law enforcement. So you're in very, very good hands. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to come to my office or any administrator for help. Thanks, Coobs, for helping us keep safe, and it's a great day to be a Cougar. Now, let's go check in with our student council. Hi, my name is Tucker Shield. I'm student council vice president. And I'm Audrey Pearson, student treasurer. Today, we will be announcing homecoming clues this year. We will not be doing it at the pep rally, so we'll have clues around the school and on our uh, Instagram and the, well, you, you can vote on what you think it's going to be and then the first five people that guess it right will get one free homecoming ticket. You'll find the QR codes to take your guests around the school and on our Instagram. Tomball High School Student Council. Thank you. Football had a game Friday so let's go see what Ashton has to say about sports. 
Good morning, Cougs fans. This is Ashton Lux with your KTHS Sports. Last Friday, the girls' volleyball team defeated Porter three sets to none. Today, they take on College Station at home in their last non-district game. Last Friday, the boys' varsity football team fought hard but fell short to Magnolia 34-29. That's all for today. I'll be back Friday with more news. As always, go Cougs. Hey, you. Hey. Do you like to read? I do. Uh, do you want to work on your reading and discussion skills? Of course I do. <laughs> Would you like to make some like-minded friends? Of course. Well, I've got the club just for you. Book club. We have books. Snacks. And shenanigans. Want in on it all? Join the book club. <laughs> Come to Miss Emmer's room at room 1221 next Thursday, September 8th. After school. Join the club. That's all we have for y'all today, Cougars. We'll see you on Friday, and as always, Go, go Cougs! Cougs.